What is up guys? So today we will be working with this and of course as you can see it's a West Germany clown and I think it's finally time to at least try to make a decent Reading clown. I used to have one but it was a really bad conversion and I ended up redoing it completely and it became a dynamo clown so maybe this time I'll be able to pull off the Reading clown a bit better and actually have one in my collection. But yeah, let's just start working on this. First I strip all the paint and then let's move on from there. So most of the paint is now gone, it's not really necessary to get all of it uh, because obviously I'm going to paint over most of it so it doesn't really matter. Next I think I will start working on the hair. I'm not quite sure yet how I should do it uh, because I've never done it properly on a Redding Clown and uh, it's a bit different than the normal dreads. So I have to think about it a little bit before actually starting. I think it should be fine. But yeah, I'll give it some thought and try to figure it out. Okay, so I did some experimenting with the hair. I did one dread and uh, I actually think it came out pretty good. As you can see, if, if I take this rest of the hair out of the way, it sticks out kind of like Clown Swillen Mask's hair. So I think I'll do the rest of the hair with this same method. Okay, so what I did was take some hair Maybe like this much. Twist it just a little bit, make it a little wet. And then I took a hairbrush. I really hope my girlfriend doesn't see this because I'm using her brush and I'm not sure that she would like that, but... But yeah, anyways. Then I just start to backcomb it a little bit like this. and then pull the hair back up and comb some more maybe make it a little more wet and then just comb some more and then do some of these palm rolls I don't know what these are called but whatever and I repeat this until there's a decent thread so let me finish this thread and uh, I'll show you the next step. There. Now that there's this thread, I got this nice little wavy look by just twisting a little bit, not much, and then I just started to fold the hair and then I have this small rubber band and put that on the folded hair to keep it there and uh, there now it's just this little folded ball now I'll just let it sit here for a while and uh, hopefully when I take the rubber band off and uh, unfold the hair, it will look something like this. So yeah, now I just have to do the rest of the hair and, and that's probably gonna take me like three hours or something. I'll get back to you once the hair is done. So it's actually now the next day and I spent three hours yesterday working on the hair and I'm about halfway there. All this is done and then a little bit on the other side and all this needs to be done and that means I have about three more hours of work to do on the hair alone. 
Uh, I guess there's nothing more to do than just continue working on it so I can actually get it done. Three hours later. Uh, next I think we will do the eyes. There's this pretty specific look that Clown's Reading Mask had where when he wore the mask the eyes were distorted a little bit like this. So I will try to mimic that look and once that's done I think we can start on the paint job. Okay, so the first white layers are now done. Let's go inside and try it and, and then put a second coat of white. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and clean up some of this overspray here. It just started raining outside, so let's try to finish the airbrushing inside and hopefully I won't have paint all over my walls. I think the airbrushing is now done. I think we can go ahead and open the hair and I see how that looks and then finish the paint job and then add the weathering. This hair would have made a perfect dynamo clown. Seems like it needs some work to make this look a bit more like a redding clown. I'll do my best to style it and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so there it is. The mask is now done. I wanted to do this conversion with the eyes like this because it's a bit different from the normal Redding Clown. It made it a bit more interesting. Yeah, nothing more to say I guess, except I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!